everybody, it's Jackie, and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm doing my review of Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix by J.K. Rowling, book 5 in the Harry Potter series. Now, if you guys don't know, I reread the entire Harry Potter series in the months of July and August in preparation for the release of The Scourge Child, which was released at the end of July, and I still have not read it, read it but I'm hoping to get it to it soon. But this is book 5 of the series. I read this in August, and I gave it a 4.5 out of 5 stars. Still fantastic book. There was only just one little aspect that just brought it down just a little bit for me. I'll talk about that in a second. So overall, I did enjoy rereading this book for the fifth time because this whole entire series is fantastic. So the one aspect that did bring it down for me was Umbridge, Professor Umbridge. I just could not stand her throughout the entire book. I know a lot of people agree with me on that because she did kind of ruin the kind of the plot for me, but not too much. Um, I On my blog um, post, I described her as like a combination of Voldemort and Snape, but worse. And I just thought, this lady is horrible. And oh my gosh, I would hate to have her as a professor if I went to Hogwarts. And I just could not stand her. But I did like how Harry, Ron, and Hermione did set up the Dumbledore's army. I think that was just an important aspect to this book. It did play out um, eventually in The Hapla Prince and the Deathly Hallows with Harry, Ron, Hermione, and their friends training. Um, I definitely saw a lot of um, evolution through the first five books and then into the sixth and the seventh. And lots of character development in this book. Um, and I also really loved, I forgot to mention this in my blog post, but I loved the relationship between Harry and Cho Chang. I think that was a really good aspect to add to the story. I mean, it didn't really work out in the end, but I really did enjoy it while it lasted. Um, and again, I love the Dumbledore's army. Again, Cho and Harry's relationship kind of played into that. Um, I also love the battles in the Department of Mysteries and the, Dep uh, the Ministry of Magic. I think that was really cool to be written into the story as well as being seen in the movie adaptation. I think fantastic. It's one of my favorite scenes in the entire series. I just love it. Uh, Sirius Black's death really did not impact me at all um, as far as this read. read uh, the first few times it kind of did. It is kind of sad. It is really sad. I was enjoying Sirius's character throughout the books as we got to know him a little bit more, get to know a little bit more of his history, who he was before all these events happened with Lily and James being killed and then Harry just going off to live with the Dursleys. You know, it's just, it's crazy to learn about one character's past as the story of another character evolves throughout seven books. And that just, you know, it's really heartbreaking to see Harry go through another personal loss like this. And I think that did definitely did impact throughout the entire rest of the uh, series, like I said. And yeah, so that's all I'm going to have for this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below if you haven't already. I have all my social media links as well as my blog linked in the description box below. I have Twitter, Instagram, and Goodreads. And I will see you guys on Monday for another video. I hope you have a fantastic weekend. I will see you soon. Thanks for watching, everybody. Bye!